Hello, Christ the King. Happy Feast Day. Please join me in the sharing of this Gospel reading about Jesus' pure love for all of us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. And Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my friends, today's Gospel reading, it has like two parts really. The last part really, well, it speaks of your school. It speaks of Jesus having this great power, like he has the power to lay down his life and to take it up again. And no one can force him to do it. It's his own choice. He has this amazing ability and strength and authority and power, which speaks to the idea of Jesus as Christ the King. But what kind of king is Jesus? How does he use his power and authority? Well, he is the good shepherd. His heart is filled with sacrificial love for his sheep, always looking out to make sure that they are okay. If they go astray, he goes out and rescues them and brings them back into the sheep fold. And not only is he focused on the sheep just in front of him, but he knows that there are other sheep that he has to go and find and bring together so that they may all be unified, safe, and experience his protection and care. My friends, Jesus' greatest example of pure love, pure love was when, even though no one was paying attention, they had all run away, Jesus laid down his life through his cross and his death. And he did that so that he may take it up again and us with him so that we may be free from sin and death. Jesus did this out of pure love for you and for me. And he gives us this gift so that we may share it with one another. On your feast day, my friends, then I, I invite you to ponder, how may I share my love with those in my life? How can I imitate the Good Shepherd, Christ the King, who's always looking out for the needs of other people to see if they are okay? As you celebrate your feast day, then, my friends, I invite you to ask the Holy Spirit to open your heart and to teach you how to see the needs of others and offer gifts of love to those around you. 